गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लेट्स कंटिन्यू द चैप्टर एज यू हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न अबाउट द मैप्स द टाइप्स ऑफ मैप्स एंड एटलस द लैंग्वेज ऑफ मैप्स डिनोटिंग डायरेक्शन ऑन अ मैप फाइंडिंग डायरेक्शन ऑन अ मैप स्किल्स ऑफ द मैप एंड the color scheme or the colors on a map students today we are going to start our next topic that is the use of sign and symbols there are many different features and land for example there are temples mosques church roads rivers bridge railway lines capital cities etc it is not possible to draw the actual picture of these features on a map therefore certain signs and symbols are used to show these features some of the commonly used sign and symbols are given below students you can see in this picture some of the signs and symbols are given here first one is international boundary state boundary district boundary metalled road unmetalled road footpath broad gauge rail line narrow gauge rail line river capital city town bridge temple church mosque these pictures having some symbols various sign and symbols on a map stand for various thing for example the boundaries of a country is shown by a line made of a dots and dashes similarly a district is shown by a made of a dashes one must know about this sign to read the map correctly special symbols are also used to show distributions of crop minerals industries dams etc some important symbols are shown here to represent towns railways roads ports etc so students map maps are very useful as they give us useful information about different regions countries etc now let us summarize what we have learned in this chapter now we know what is a map a map is a representation of the earth on a flat surface a map cannot be as accurate as a globe but it is for you more useful than a globe a map can be drawing of the whole earth or only a part of it we have learned about an atlas a book of a map is called an atlas we learn the direction on a map we learn the scale of a map a map is always drawn to scale the ratio between map distance and ground distance is called the scale the map uses sign symbols and colors to represent different water bodies and features on land 
all map follows the same fixed direction lastly we have seen the use of sign and symbols on a map the sign symbols and color used in map are almost always the same hope you enjoyed thank you